For your patients to check in at your office, open up the Dr. Chrono check-in app. You'll see your appointments for the day listed on the left-hand side. Again, as a reminder, I recommend using the iPad EHR and check-in apps horizontally in landscape view so you can see more of the menu items on your screen. Similarly to the iPad EHR app, you can use the filters in the top left-hand corner to look for specific appointments, as well as the search bar to type in a patient name. On the main screen, you will see various information related to the patient and the appointment details. For instance, the type of appointment, the appointment status, we can mark this patient as arrived. And to start the check-in process, click Start Onboarding. You can have patients check in in either English or Spanish. Hand the iPad to the patient and click Start. From here, the patient can no longer go back to the original screen to see the list of patients and appointments for the day. The only way to return to that screen is for your staff to unlock it using their username and password. For a new patient, I recommend clicking Edit All in the top right-hand corner. This will walk your patient through each of these screens for them to fill out their information. The demographic fields here will automatically update the same fields in the patient chart. So if they have a new phone number and need to edit that, it will automatically be saved in the patient chart. The Additional Information section is a customizable section, and you can go to your form builder to add or edit any of these fields for your patient intake. There are some additional sections where your patients can leave any notes. For instance, maybe the patient is no longer taking a medication. They can make note of that. Then you will be able to review this in the visit with the patient. They are also able to use the camera to take a clinical photo of their insurance cards for you to have on file in the patient chart. As with all clinical photos taken through the iPad EHR or check-in app, the photo will only be saved in the patient chart and will not be stored on the device. You can also customize the reasons for visit section. The default is a series of switches where patients can mark why they're coming in to see you. You also have the option to allow for patients to leave up to three questions or comments for you. You can also assign specific consent forms for the patient to review during the check-in process. Once they're done, they'll click Read and Consent in the top right-hand corner, and then it will prompt them to sign with their finger. Patients have the option to go back and review the different sections, or they can click on the Home button, which will take them back to this long form. For returning patients, I recommend that they scroll through this form, and if they need to edit specific sections, they can click the pencil icon on the right-hand side. For instance, maybe Jenny needs to update her phone number. Again, any edits made to these demographic fields will automatically update in the patient chart. You can customize the section shown here as part of the on-patient workflow by going on the computer to Clinical, On-Patient Forms. As well, I'll go over in a little bit how you can also edit the workflow in the check-in app. When your patient is done, they'll click Finish Check-in, and now they'll hand the iPad back to your staff, and your staff can log in using their username and password. In the top right-hand corner, you will see the three horizontal bars. There's an additional menu screen here, and I definitely recommend checking out Safeguard Your iPad, which will walk you through the different security steps native to the iPad to set up guided access. This allows you to lock your patient into just the Dr. Chrono check-in app when you hand them the iPad, so they can't go watch videos or go onto social media. Follow these steps, and it'll take you through the different settings, You'll set up a four-digit PIN passcode that you and your staff know, which will allow you to unlock it and access other apps in the iPad. To turn on guided access, simply tap the Home button three times, click Start, and your patient will be locked to the check-in app. As well, in this menu in the top right-hand corner, you can take a look at setting up kiosk mode if you would like to set up your iPad for your patients to walk up and check themselves in. You can also go to Customize Workflow, which will allow you to either hide sections or move sections around. Just click on the three bars on the right and you can drag and drop these sections to the order you prefer. You can also access the practice chat on the iPad, add new patients on the iPad, and adjust various settings. That's a quick overview on the check-in process on the iPad Dr. Chrono check-in app. You can also view the videos related to on-patient or patient portal for some more information about how patients can check-in from home.